What's going on, guys? Kevin here from Sportsbox Breaks coming at you live Sunday night, July 22nd, 2018. I'm cracking open a uh, sealed case of 2018 Panini Don Russ Elite Football. This is the Choose Team Case Break number two. Who has who in this break? The Arizona Cardinals going to Joshua C. The Atlanta Falcons going to Ryan B. The Baltimore Ravens going to Ryan B. The Buffalo Bills going to Aaron F. Carolina Panthers going to Kevin H. The Chicago Bears going to Fred B. Cincinnati Bengals going to Greg Z. Cleveland Browns going to Joshua C. Uh, welcome, Joshua. I think you're relatively new with us. Welcome to our break, sir. Uh, again, that was the Browns for Joshua C. The Dallas Cowboys going to Aaron F. The Denver Broncos going to Ryan B. The Detroit Lions going to Michael D. The Green Bay Packers going to Gary T. Uh, the Houston Texans going to Torian T. The Indianapolis Colts going to Greg Z. The Jacksonville Jaguars going to Greg Z. Kansas City Chiefs going to Aaron F. The LA Chargers going to Joshua R. So we have a new guy. We have two new Joshuas in the house. We have Joshua C and we have Joshua R. The Chargers going to Joshua R. Welcome, Joshua R. Uh, so again, Chargers, Joshua R. LA Rams going to Brendan B. The Miami Dolphins going to Aaron F. Minnesota Vikings, Joshua R. The New England Patriots going to Josh S. So a lot of Joshes in this break. So again, Patriots for Josh S. The New Orleans Saints going to LEV. The New York Giants going to Daniel M. The New York Jets going to Stacy U. Oakland Raiders, Aaron F. Philadelphia Eagles going to Keen W. Pittsburgh Steelers going to David R. San Francisco 49ers going to Jacob A. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks going to Chris M. Tampa Bay Bucks going to Gregory Z. Tennessee Titans going to Joshua R. And the Washington Redskins going to Kalen M. Guys, thanks again for getting it filled. So, guys, this is break number two of this product. If you're interested, I just activated break number three. We do have more of this product. Break number three is on the website. It's on the, uh, right on the home page of the site. You cannot miss it. So if you did not get a chance to jump into breaks number one or two of this stuff, you can jump into the next one. Coupon code SAVE10 will give you 10% off any of those teams. Uh, two teams have already been picked up as we were hanging out here doing this. So 30 of the 32 teams should still be available. If you're watching this later, however, that number is likely going to be different. But as of right now, as I'm doing this live, 30 of 32 teams are still available. So snag them up while you can, guys. All right, here we go. All right, let's push these guys all the way up. There's an empty case box. Show it to you. And here, upside down, let's put them in a single file row, shall we? Let's do this. Let's do this. So there it is, guys. Let me show it to you in all of its glory. They're upside down. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two up top makes twelve. Let's crack this one first, and we'll keep working our way down. All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. A lot of packs to get through, guys. Five cards per pack is the killer on this stuff. Just an absolute crap ton of packs okay here we go might as well get your coffee ready because this one is going to take a while let's see how we can do this that way i think that's the way we want to go right yeah okay So guys, I'll say this as I'm cracking open the packs, especially for the benefit of everybody that's new, because we do have some new faces in the house lately. Uh, guys, when you break with us, you get all cards. So there's a lot of different stuff in this product. Obviously, I'm going to showcase all the hits, all the low-numbered stuff. But uh, to keep the flow of the break going somewhat rapidly, we can't really sit there and, and focus on every card, all 1,200 cards. So just be aware, guys, you're going to get those cards regardless. We take the time to sort it all out into stacks and we send it off to you, so you will get it. So if there's a specific card I pass off and you'd like to see it brought back up into the camera, just let me know before I get too far past it and I'll bring it back up into view for you guys and show you what you want to see. What's our breakdown on this stuff, guys? It's been a little bit. What's our breakdown on this product? Breakdown. Each box, two autos, one memorabilia, three rookies, six parallel parallels, eight inserts. 
So a whole lot going on here. So we're looking for three hits, two of them being an auto, right? Okay, here we go, guys. This one will take us a fair bit of time to get through just because of all the unpacking that's going on. So let's start on the right side. And let me get the camera dialed in and away from the autofocus because autofocus is not good for doing this. you got to dial it in nice and pretty on the focus there. Let's see. We'll adjust as needed. Okay, here we go, guys. Again, we're going to only focus on the hits. What do we got? Demarius Thomas coming up first. First numbered card to 299. First numbered car to 299. Got one of these, Big Ben, the Elite Deck. They're like the Ace card, like a card of playing cards going on. Bunch of those in the in the previous break. And what do we got? Pen Pals Auto. I think we got a Pen Pals Auto coming up here. Washington Redskins going to Kalen. Black ink on that one, Kalen. There you go, James Washington. First auto, Pen Pals Auto of James Washington. Or am I saying Washington? Hello. That's the Steelers. I am out of it. That is not Kalen. I apologize, Kalen. That is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Where am I getting the Washington Redskins out of my mind? That is the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that's Mr. Dave R. Wow. Don't mind me. What do we got? A little LT love here? Numbering to 299 on the Tomlinson? Dual threats. Dual threats. Yeah. Yeah, Zag. That's the Steelers. There's, there's a spacer. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Two, you know what it is? You do these live sessions, and uh, you're juggling like 4,000 things. I've got, like, I've got two monitors going on. Right, that's, that's where I got Washington from. Hello. Hello. I've got two monitors going on, and I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to keep track of about 50 different things. Check this out. Numbering to 90 on that one for the Panthers. And you start going on autopilot after a while. University of Southern California, rookie elitist. All right, let's keep going here, guys. Chugging along. Aaron Rodgers, numbering to 299. Looking for that disco ball again, Zag. Remember the disco ball design? That disco ball design, that was actually pretty cool. Marcus Mariota. There it is. I'm calling out for the disco ball design, and it shows up. Little Marcus Mariota action of 49. I know it's not called the Disco Ball Design, guys. I know there's probably an actual name for that style right there. But it kind of looks like a Disco Ball. So numbering to 49 on that one. All right, next stack right here. What do we got? Marvin Jones Jr. Marvin Jones Jr., that's the 99. And here comes... A craftsman. What do we got? Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Bucks. That's going to zag. There you go. Craftsman relic of Mike Evans. And what do we got? Number to 199 on that uh, Pettis. Hard hats. Okay. What else? What else? Here's Carson Wentz to 99. Carson Wentz to 99, Spellbound. Spellbound. Uh, tidal Waves of Nick Foles. What do we got here? Brian Dawkins. That's our next auto right there. Impact Impressions Auto, numbering to 25. 19 of 25, Brian Dawkins for the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles in this one belong to Keen. Keen W. Keen W, Impact, Impressions, to 25. Nice. Nice, nice. Brian Dawkins. All right. Keeping it going, keeping it going. Ben, Big Ben, another one. And that's the 10. How about a 10 of 10? 
10 of 10 on this Big Ben Elite deck. So Steelers picking up another one. That's a nice one, Dave. 10 of 10 on that one. So very nice. Very nice. Seahawks to 699. All right, first box is going to be in the books. Captain Clutch right there, Drew Brees. First box down. Box number two. Let's pick that one off the top and keep working our way down. Sparkle. That's what they're called, Sparkle. I like Disco Ball better. People get mad, though. People get mad. They'll watch the break, and they'll send us an email all pissed off at us because we're not calling them the right name. All right, there's an empty box, guys. There's an empty box. I need a little coffee sip action here, guys. All right, cold coffee for the win. Cold coffee for the win. <clears throat> Pieces of the cardboard coming up here from the boxes. I have to like lint brush this uh, little rubber mat off like three times a week because it gets all the cardboard stuff, <clears throat> which is a good thing. It means that we're opening cases. So guys, all the rest of these numbers are live. If you guys want to crack open Diamond Kings next, I'm not going to be live again until Thursday. Normally I do Mondays and, or I'm sorry, Wednesday. Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, this week it's a little modified because Jason is at this uh, four-day festival. Tonight's the last night of it, so he'll be back tomorrow. And I will be back again on Wednesday. So we'll not have an opportunity to do uh, Diamond Kings or any of the other ones. We got some new releases this week as well. So whatever you see in that lineup that is going to be Vegas specific, we'll not have an opportunity to crack it again until Wednesday. And if you guys are hanging out and you're wondering what's he talking about, so we live stream, so we're a two-person operation here. We do our live streams from two different locations. I'm located in Las Vegas. Jason, the other half of the operation, is located in Pennsylvania, and we have different batches of inventory at each place. So some stuff we have duplicates of, and we could try to do it on both of our nights. Like the new releases, usually we'll have duplicates, but some of the stuff... Like, for instance, the black gold football, the flawless collegiate, the encased. That's all here. That's all here in Vegas. <laughs> so uh, on certain nights, we could try to crack some of it open. On certain nights, we, we just don't have the chance to because we don't have multiples of the stuff at the second location. So just to let you know what that's all about. Okay, here we go, guys. Box number deuce. Box number deuce. What do we got? Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb numbering to six ninety nine on the Chubber. Sounds weird, right? Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins numbering to six ninety nine. Uh, what do we got? Numbering to one ninety nine Broncos. Walker Titans numbering. That's some numbering. Fifteen of eighteen. 15 of 18, that's a weird number. 15 of 18 on the Walker for the Titans. So the Titans getting in there. That's Joshua R. Hopkins, elite deck. <clears throat> we pulled some good uh, pen pal autos in the previous one, right? We pulled the green ink, we pulled the blue ink. Numbering to 199 on the Johnson for the Lions. Hopkins numbering to 299. Taylor for the Browns to 299. Remember I was saying last time I gotta watch how I say elite deck D E C K. It sounds like it could be misconstrued as something weird. Alright guys. Evan Ingram coming up here. New York Giants. That's Daniel M. Daniel M. And that, sir, is a nice one. Elite coverage. Dual Relic. Two color on both. Very nice, man. Numbering is 44 of 49. 
44 of 49. You could see my, uh, I have these ring lights in the back. You could actually see it right there. I have one on either side, kind of shining into my, uh, my break table area here, giving some good light. Evan Ingram, elite coverage, dual. Nice, nice hit. What do we got here? Watson, numbering to 99 on the Watson. All right, here comes my second stack. Second stack. Rookie elitist. All right, Jordan Howard, this one's to 75. Jordan Howard to 75, Chicago. That's Fred B. Fred B picking up a spellbound to 75. Uh, Captain Clutch right there, Jason Winton, not numbered. What do we got here? What do we got here, Jamon Moore, Green Bay? That's nice. That's nice. We pulled a nice pen pals of him in the previous one. Uh, turn of the century, Moore for Green Bay. That's a 27 of 49. 27 of 49. Green Bay, and this one belongs to uh, Green Bay Packers. Gary T. Gary T is the owner on that one. Congrats to you, sir. Nice hit. Nice hit. Turn of the century. And that's number to 49 as well, bud. Nice hit. All right. Chugging through them, guys. Chugging through them. Primary colors. Primary colors right there. Hurst to 6.99. Uh, hard hats. Big Ben. Big Ben, that's to 93, okay, to 93. Tidal Waves, Nick Foles. Is this it? This is a duel, boys. How about a duel for them Ravens? Ravens belong to Ryan B. Pen Pals duel, Lamar Jackson, Hayden Hurst. We got some colored ink. No black ink, but still pretty cool. The top one is signed at an angle. Lamar Jackson, Hayden Hurst, dual Pen Pals Auto, black ink. Very nice, man. Congrats, congrats. Ravens times two. Uh, we got a Todd Gurley to 299 right there, spellbound. All right, guys, give me just a moment. I got to, uh, Zag's giving the boom on the dual Pen Pals. Yeah, man, that was nice. Very nice. Ryan, I'm not sure if you're hanging out live right now, bud, but that's a good one, brother. Let me just offload the rest of these cards, guys. Only a second Jackson auto you've seen pulled. <clears throat> and it's interesting, too. He signed it. <clears throat> he signed it at an angle with the little inscription number on it, too, which is pretty cool. Both have been the dual pen pals. Is that the way he's doing his signatures? Doing them with a the little number inscription? All right, here we go. Next box, guys. Next box. Empty box right there, ladies and gents. Uh, let's see. I can't remember which the hell way we want to go. Which way do we want to go, I think? Yeah, that's how you want to go. Helmet facing to the left. So guys, we are live streaming on four different channels these days. Been about a month now we started doing it. We used to live stream only on Breakers.tv and Twitch. We changed it up, started live streaming on uh, YouTube. We live streamed through our Facebook. Also Breakers, also Twitch. We can live stream to multiple platforms. If there's other video platforms that you guys want, we could live stream there too. But these are kind of the four that make the most sense for us. Guys, how about black gold or encased? If we want to keep football going, encased is a super easy case to get through. Check the product description out. Open up that product and look at the full description on that stuff. It's loaded. It's a 2016 value product. So you're going to be able to pick stuff up there super cheap. 
Would love to see that one get some momentum flying tonight, encased in addition to the black gold, guys. Two really nice products. No slouches on either of those products, but again, they're not 2018 stuff, so it hasn't, uh, hasn't captured the focus of a lot of people. But if you're looking to get into a good value break, those are really good. We've done multiple cases of both of them in the past. That'll be our fourth case of the encased and our fifth case of the black gold. Jason's got the archive uh, baseball, archive signature series baseball on the lineup for tomorrow again. So we did acquire multiple more cases of that stuff. So if you guys are looking to get into that one, uh, Jason will have it tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be able to do it. Hit drafts. Everybody gets a hit. Yes, man. Yes, yes. Torian, you, the first card out of the, right out of the gate. One of one, buddy. The Bellinger and the Sheffield. You got it. Yeah, the Lamar Jackson auto as well. That was Ryan B., notorious, the notorious one. Ryan B. got that one. There we go. A little sparkle action there to 49. Let me put that one in my hit stack because it is lower than uh, 50. Leonard Fournette. Uh, Russell Wilson. And here it is, guys. This is our pen pal. Miami Dolphins going off to Aaron F., Kalen Ballage, what do we got? Any colored ink? Not colored ink, black ink on that one. Pen Pals Auto. Pretty interesting way he does his signatures, right? Pretty interesting. So Pen Pals Auto comes up pretty quick. Primary colors of Mariota. Guys, if you didn't get a chance, check out Jason's. Uh, he sent out an email about them, I think, yesterday. Uh, charity auctions for Jason's brother. Jason's brother has a, uh, like a lifelong disease that... Uh, he's been dealing with for years. Tidal waves of Heinz Ward. Is that numbered? Not numbered, but it's Super Bowl and script or a Super Bowl logo at the bottom, which is pretty cool. But Jason's brothers had um, it basically has him uh, out of work now for the past bunch of years as well. Bills to 99, even though he's in his Bengals uniform, AJ McCarron. <clears throat> you could see signed by the Bills on 31518, a little side off there. But some pretty cool stuff. Jason has those uh, auctions running on his eBay, his personal eBay, JAK's Cards 81, rookie elitist of Calvin Ridley. But I think there's like a signed Mariota helmet. There's something else. There's like some pretty cool stuff that our distributors were kind enough to donate to the cause. And all money is going to go toward that foundation. Number to 199 there. Check out that email that Jason sent yesterday about the, uh, the charity auctions, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. He's got a link directly to those listings. Von Miller, Captain Clutch. So it might be something you guys are interested in checking out. Uh, Johnson, a 199. What do we got here? Here's a die cut. Clay Matthews, Green Bay. Die cut. That's number to 24. Nice low number to 24 on that one. Clay Matthews. And here comes our relic. It is Patrick Mahomes, craftsman. Kansas City in this break belongs to Aaron. So Aaron picking up another one. Craftsman relic. Craftsman relic right there. I think craftsman, I think of Sears Tools, which pretty much is soon to be like the only thing they're going to be remaining to be known for. <clears throat> which I think that tool brand, the actual Craftsman brand of tools, was purchased by like Black & Decker or somebody a couple years ago. How about a Drew Brees to two ninety nine right there, Spellbound? Yeah, I don't even think Sears owns their own Craftsman tool line anymore for the last bunch of years. Texans to six ninety nine. What do we got? We got something coming up here next. Jordan Lasley, Ravens again. Picking it up, and there you go. Turn of the century, Ryan, to go along with your duel. How about to 49 of 49 on that one? 49 of 49 on this one. Jordan Lasley, turn of the century. Nice auto. Nice card. 
Ravens picking up another nice one. We're upside down here, guys. What do we got here? Winston Mariota, 92 of 99. Face to face. So, guys, I'll point this out. I point it out all the time when we pull these multi-team cards. So this one's numbered to 99. It would have to be numbered 50 or lower. If it were numbered 50 or lower, I would set up random.org at the end of it, and I would determine who gets it. But when it's not numbered lower than 50, we go off the face of the card, left to right, top to bottom. So Jameis falls on the left here, so this will be a Tampa Bay Bucks card. If it had ink on it or if it was numbered 50 or lower, we would use random.org to determine ownership. And that's on our listings, guys. That's on our website. That's on our eBay listings. That's all over the place. So that's well spelled out before you ever make a purchase with us, just to point that out. All right, let's get into the next one. Oh, it's like Neil's not a chalkboard right there. Okay, empty box right there. Guys, thanks for the momentum. We got some good momentum flying here tonight. I wasn't sure how we were going to do. We had such a busy Friday. I wasn't sure how tonight was going to go. And we got two of them off in pretty short fashion, so that's awesome. I know Optic Baseball guys are chasing down Optic pretty hard. If you guys want to get into that Optic, it's on uh, tomorrow's schedule with Jason. I broke all of the Optic that I have had here in Vegas. So Optic is fully wiped out. Now it's just remaining to be shipped off. So guys, bear with me a little bit on the shipping. I've got about, between all the breaks that went off, Wednesday, Friday, and tonight, I've got something like, I don't know, 7,000 cards or something like that to sort through, figure out who they go to, team bag them, encase them, package them, and ship them. So a lot of labor, a lot of labor coming my way in the next few days. So just bear with me. I'm going to get them out as soon as I can. That Allen and Ginter, that stuff's a beast. That stuff was just, ugh, it's such a beast to uh, sift through. Sort it and pack it. Yeah, Tom, it's a lot. There's been certain weeks that have had like 10,000 plus, which... Not complaining. Not complaining. That means we were busy. But yeah, it's a lot of cards to get through. We'll have guys on eBay like two days after the break goes off, like, where are my cards? Where's my tracking number? Guys, give us, give us a little bit of time. That's all I ask. All right. Captain Clutch right there, Carson Wentz. What do we got? Lewis, numbering to 41. Numbering to 41. 12 of 41 for the Colts. Uh, Jones right here, Elite Deck. Got our pen pals coming up. It is Jamon Moore. Here it is. So we pulled one of him. We just pulled a regular auto of him a couple minutes ago, and now we pulled his pen pals. What do we got? And that's got blue ink, guys. Blue ink on this one. Guys, remind me again what the different bl is blue to 25? Green is to 5. Remind me again on the different uh, ink colors with the numbering. Jamon Moore, blue ink, very nice. Pen pals for Green Bay, and Green Bay is Gary T. Gary T, lucky recipient on that one. <clears throat> Tom, I try, man, I try, it's tough. It's not an easy business to be involved in, let me tell you. Spellbound of Russell Wilson. I recently uh, thought to myself, because, you know, a lot of times I'll be out somewhere and the phone is just chiming away, chiming away. Tidal waves of Von Miller. Um, I think, don't quote me on this because I probably won't do it, but I might. <laughs> Coming soon, disconnect my sports box breaks email from my phone because uh, otherwise you just never have a break. 
It's with you 24-7. If you guys have ever run any kind of online business, Zag, I know you'll know this. What do we got? Marquette King, a little punter action here to 299. 24 of 299 on this one. Dual threats. It's pretty cool. But when you run an online business, guys, <laughs> your day kind of never ends. Your day kind of never ends. You did, Ryan. You did, buddy. Congrats. The chat was going crazy. The chat was loving it. So I'm thinking recently that I want to disconnect my uh, sports box breaks email from my phone and just dedicate myself to actual like office hours. We shall see if that happens. Rookie elitist Josh Allen. Marcus Allen coming up here. Marcus Allen at 199. Uh, numbering to 199 on that one. Torian as well. I know you guys do a lot of reselling, so uh, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty much with you 24-7. How about a Barkley here? Die cut to 24. Die cut to 24. How about a Carson Wentz craftsman? So Philadelphia doing pretty good so far. Who's got that Philly spot again? Philadelphia is keen. There you go, Craftsman Relic for Philadelphia. Oh, it's, I'll tell you, Zag, it's, uh, I mean, I've been doing online business for 20 years. I've been doing it since 1997 in various capacities. Don't get me wrong, it suits me well. You know, I mean, I'm so used to doing online business as, as opposed to a regular nine to five gig. What do we got here, fellas? Mike White, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys going off to Aaron, and there you go, buddy. Two of 149. Two of 149, turn of the century auto. Mike White, Dallas Boys. Dallas Cowboys. <clears throat> I'm seeing your guys chatter. But yeah, Zach, it's, uh, it's a blessing and a curse. How about a Mariota to 25? Primary colors. 15 of 25 on that one. Very nice. Orange for the Titans. Going to Joshua R. Joshua R. Numbering to 699. All right, guys. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to go. Bear with me for a minute while I offload these cards off to the side. Yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not complaining about doing online business as a means of income. It's great. A lot of people would, you know would love to do an online business but uh it is a blessing and a curse sometimes you know you're pretty much tethered to it 24 7 and you can never get away it's always there it's always there <clears throat> see i almost have to like dedicate yourself to like like i said specific office hours and be like okay i'm only going to answer emails during like the nine to six hour or something like that and then cut yourself off from it at a certain point All right, there we go on that. There's an empty box. <laughs> I'm looking at your guys' chatter there. Ben Simmons. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hold on one sec, guys. I've got an overflowing garbage can, and I cannot fit any more pack wrappers inside of it, so let's make room. With these cards as well, guys, these autos, to fetch instead of push. Oh, right, so it's only coming into you uh, when you're retrieving it rather than always being pushed off to the phone. That's a smart move, Greg. That's a smart move. That way you're only seeing it when you want to see it. When I used to work for like traditional companies, last normal like 40-hour gig that I had was about six years ago. And... Uh, 
I disconnected the company email from my phone. I'm like, yeah, I'm not giving, I'm not, I'm not giving them my time outside of work. Otherwise, that was constant as well. Although this one is our gig, so you kind of, you're kind of stuck with it. But yeah, that's a smart move. All right, getting there, getting there. Guys, if you're just popping in, this is break number two of Elite Football. Um, I just activated break number three. So break number three of this stuff is now on site and in the early stages of filling up. So if you guys want to snag a team or a couple teams in the next one, you can do it. It's on the site. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Primary colors of Von Miller to 299. Numbering to 699 for the Chargers there. Uh, Tidal Waves of Roger Staubach. Uh, what do we got? Kareem Hunt, Elite Deck. <clears throat> Who are you looking for, Greg? Uh, Mark Walton, Otto, Bengals. Let's see if we can do it, man. All right, guys, here it comes. This is our next one. How do you say that dude's first name? Naheem Hines? This is the Colts. <clears throat> Colts in this one. This is you, Zag. Will we show colored ink? Black ink on that one, brother. Black ink on that one. Pen Pals Auto for the Colts. Going off to Greg. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. Pen Pals Auto. <clears throat> Rookie Elitist. Uh, what do we got? Numbering to 199, Broncos. Ian Thomas, right there to 199. Doug Baldwin, you can see some stuff coming through on the back side of that card. That's numbered to 99. <clears throat> yeah, man, I don't know. I mispronounced 98% of these dudes' names. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. All right, we got a redemption right here, fellas. We got a redemption, so let's do this. Let's put the redemption right there. Let's get through the whole stack of cards, and we'll look at it last for a little little anticipation action here. Hard hats of Lattimore. You guys remember the movie, the, uh, the was it the program? With the college football guys from like the early 90s? Field Vision of Russell Wilson. Every time I see Lattimore, Field Vision, pretty cool card. Pretty cool pictures on those. Field Vision. I think of that dude, and that's number to 75, 36 of 75. That dude that was all jacked up on steroids. He was like changing out his, his piss because of the piss test and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Numbering to 299. In the movie I'm talking, not real life. In the movie it was uh, Lattimore. He was a big, massive dude. Uh, we got a Carson Wentz to 299 right here. Spellbound. That was the movie that caused a lot of controversy, if you remember that one, where they laid it down in the middle of the road like big balls and the cars were kind of passing around them and kids reproduced that same thing and like a kid got killed by doing it. And I think they cut that scene out of the movie, if I remember correctly. Omar Epps. Yep. Omar Epps is your cousin? No kidding. I watched Omar Epps in a bunch of stuff. What else was he? He was in, uh, he was in uh, House, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't he in the TV show House? Marvin Jones Jr., Numbering to 49, there's the sparkle again. Marvin Jones Jr. I forgot Omar Epps is in that. Yeah, I've seen Omar in a bunch of stuff. Here we go, guys. Throwback threads. Throwback threads for the New York Giants, Evan Engram. Evan Engram, throwback thread. And that, fellas, check it out. I'm looking at the back side of it. Whoa. Whoa. This is a duel. So one side of it has Evan Engram, right? Throwback Threads, New York. The other side, two of five, has Jeremy Shockey for the Giants. Crazy. Crazy. 
That's awesome. Two of five on that one. New York Giants belong to Daniel M. Daniel M. Dual throwback threads, dual sided. That is something unique right there, buddy. Two of five as well. Two of five. Yeah, Juice as well. I forgot about Juice. Good actor. Good actor. Yeah, dual sided. I didn't see that one coming. All right, we got a Jordan Howard right here. Numbering to 49. That's another sparkle. <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool card, right? What do we got right here? Numbering to 99, Tampa Bay. Okay, guys, let's see what this redemption is all about. Let's see what this redemption is about. So let's use this guy. Let's put it on top of it and do a little slow slide here. Slow reveal. Okay, 2018 Don Russ Elite, turn of the century auto we're going to be looking at here. Card number 15, DJ Shark. DJ Shark. Let's see. Off the top of my head, I am not recalling his team. Jacksonville? Jacksonville Jags, I believe, right? So Jacksonville Jags in this break belong to you. Greg, there you go, buddy. There you go, turn of the century auto, card number 15. So Jacksonville Jags, owner on that one. There you go, brother. <clears throat> Is he, uh, I'm assuming, originally from like the same area, Torian? Or was the family uh, spread out across a bunch of different areas? But yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. I think I just saw something recently with him in it. What did I just see recently with him in it? All right, there's my stack of packs. There's my empty box. Let's see what we got. Not from the same area. Juice was the one with uh, with Tupac, right? Wasn't Tupac and Juice? So <laughs> here's a really morbid uh, little factoid. Not that it has anything to do with anything, but you know, Tupac sadly was shot and killed out here in Vegas. You know, all those years ago, and he was shot and killed on Koval Lane. And Jason, the other half of SBB's last name is Koval, K-O-V-A-L. So uh, when we were out here together a bunch of years ago, he's like, yeah, I think Tupac was actually shot on this road. And it just so happens it's the last name. Weird stuff, weird little factoids. Yeah, the Tupac debut movie. I remember that movie. I remember watching that. There was a bunch of those movies that were out in the early 90s. Came out on the heels of like Boys in the Hood and uh, what was the one that... Uh, there's another one... Menace to Society. There's a bunch of those movies <clears throat> that had a lot of those young actors at that time. All right. Chugging along. I haven't seen any of those. Actually, I might have seen Boys in the Hood a couple years ago. And I mean, it's dated. Don't get me wrong, but it holds up. Menace to Society was awesome. I remember just like Menace to Society was such a violent like wake-up call to that Los Angeles scene that was going on at that time. I'm 40. How old am I? I, I honestly had to just question my own age. I'm 46. I'm 46. Born at 71. Yeah. It's a late night when you have to question your own age. Because I feel like I'm about 28. Carson Wentz right here, elite deck. Jason is 10 years younger, though. Jason's your exact age. Kiki coming up here next, guys. Kiki is our next one. Houston belongs to Torian. What do we got, brother? That's blue. That's blue ink on that one, buddy. Blue ink on that one. Pen Pals Auto with blue ink. For the Texans. Booyah. Booyah. I swear to God, I literally thought I was going to say, oh, I'm, I'm 45. But then I'm like, no, wait a second. I'm 46. All right, guys. we got a number to 299. Number to 299. 38 of 299. Face to face. 
So that'll be a Kansas City card. <coughs> That's the one you were looking for, Torian? Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. Again, guys, remind me what the different colors indicate as far as the numbering. Blue is what? Blue is to 25, green is to 5? I was asking you guys before. You might have answered me, and I might have missed it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a weird, I'm kind of an anomaly for being a guy in his 40s. Never married, no kids. Prime targets. Prime targets of Tate. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, I remember these. That's the 49. 27 to 49, prime targets relic. And they put the little relic piece right in the M, which is pretty neat. So prime targets. Pretty cool. Yeah, never married, no kids, which is kind of what allowed me you know, last year I was always wanting to live in Vegas, and I'm like, eh, what the hell? Why not? Why not just pick up and go? Nothing holding me back here. I've got an online business and other interests online. Hard hats. Next up is another another Houston. What do we got here? Houston again is Torian. Justin Reed. Die cut to 24. Die cut to 24. Years ago I lived in... Uh, I had an online business in the late 90s, and I did kind of the same thing. Captain Clutch right here, Vinatieri. I picked up and moved from Pennsylvania to uh, San Francisco. I lived in the city, right in San Francisco, for about a year in, like, 99, 2000 era. My girlfriend and I just picked up and moved. Just for nothing, just because I was bored. It was neat. Spellbound of Jordan Howard. Uh, Green Bay Packers to 699. What's up, Ellie? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Any Saints yet, guys? Any Saints yet? I don't remember. Joe Mixon to two ninety nine. Uh, rookie elitist, Cortland Sutton, SMU. <clears throat> Arden Key, Arden Key. That is to ninety nine. Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey, that is to 83. Where are they coming up this numbering? What's 83? What's the significance of 83? I'm sure there's something. What do we got here on this Trubisky? That is uh, a little sparkle action on the Mitchell Trubisky to 49. <clears throat> All right, getting down to it here, guys. We're going to have six boxes to go, which means we're going to be halfway there. Numbering to 99 on this one, Jamon Moore. And here's Carson Wentz again. Carson Wentz spellbound, numbering four of ninety-nine. Four of ninety-nine. Numbering to six ninety-nine right there, James. Okay, guys, one second while I offload, offload some cards off to my little side table here. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, here we go. Six more boxes left. Six to go. Halfway in. Yeah, Menace to Society tour. That was such a brutal movie. I remember just being like shocked watching that movie. It was so brutal. What's the dude's name that I can't remember his name that played uh he was in a bunch of stuff, even recently he's still acting. The guy that played the uh, lead in that one. There's this channel out here, 100.5 Las Vegas. I can't remember what the call sign is, like what the uh, the Q something, Q something, 100.5 Vegas. See if they have it live streaming or through like iHeartRadio. It's actually an awesome station, man. It's got a. Uh, it's all like 90s hip hop and rap. And it's just so good. Like, I'm hearing songs that I haven't heard in, like, you know, 25 years on there. I was listening the other day, driving, and it was, uh, <laughs> what the hell was it? Candyman knocking boots. Candyman knocking boots. I'm like, wait a second. This song was huge in its day, and I completely forgot this thing existed. Yeah, Candyman knocking boots. Kane or O Dog? Who was the? Uh, well, he was the lead. He was the guy with like the short dreads, the one that um, shoots the shop clerk. 
when they're when they're getting forties or something out of the one scene, which was just brutal. And then they kind of carried that tape around as their as their like I don't know street cred tape or something, right? Yeah, check it out. One hundred point five, the Q in Las Vegas. If you could stream that on like iHeartRadio, it's awesome. Awesome channel. All right, last pack. Lorenz Tate. Yep. All right, he is on that show, Power. Yes, yes. My girlfriend just recently, her sister watches that show, and she just recently binged it, and she's trying to get me to watch it. And I'm like, I just watched too much TV already. Just too much TV already. All right. Uh, were there two autos in the last case, Ryan is asking? Off the top of my head, I don't know, but here's everything I have in my hit stack from the last case. So I have the uh, Trubisky to 49. I have the number to 24. I have the prime targets. I have the Kiki, Blue Ink, Pen Pals, and I have the Turn of the Century Redemption. So those are the last two. I don't know how the box shakeout was on that one. So you guys let me know. It's tough to keep track of this stuff. There's so much going on. But if there happens to be a missing auto, please let me know, guys. Numbering to 299 right there. Uh, numbering to 699, Dante Pettis. What do we got? What do we got? Numbering to 299. Uh, title waves of Terry Bradshaw. Keeping it going here, guys. Keeping it going. Vaughn and Miller to 99. <clears throat> Charges the prior box. They shorted one turn of the century. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Guys, please keep a running tally on that stuff if you could. You're probably... It's easier to recognize it, believe it or not, when you're not cracking open the packs. Or we'll keep a running tally and see if they make up for it across another one of the boxes somewhere. If not, I'll put in a... Uh, I'll put in a request. All right, what do we got here, guys? Kalen Ballage, turn of the century auto to 149. Kalen Ballage, turn of the century auto, 137 of 149. So Miami getting that one. Miami belongs to Aaron F. So in the previous box, so what was that? So this is box number seven. So box number six it would have been if I kind of pointed out to them. Von Miller to 299. DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, Lorenz Tate, he's good. He is good. There's our next one, guys. You can see it already. You can definitely see the logo. Who's got them Broncos? Ryan B. Ryan, you're going to get another one in a minute here, buddy. Smith to 199. That goes the die cut. That's the 24. Ravens. Ravens doing well. To 24 on that die cut. Sam Bradford to 299. Uh, Captain Clutch Von Miller. And here it is, guys. Next Pen Pals Auto is going to be Freeman for the Broncos. That's Ryan B. Got any colored ink? Black ink. Black ink. Pen Pals Auto for the Broncos. Uh, Raiders to six ninety nine. Luke Falk. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin. Jones. That is to ninety nine. What do we got here? Epic Blake Bortles. Epic Relic here for the Jags. 23 of 99. 23 of 99. Blake Bortles. Numbering to 199. All right, guys. 
Here comes the next box. We're going to have... Oh, they're falling. Well, if he's falling right at us, let's just go with that one. Let's go with the one that fell right at us. Here we go. There's an empty box. Here we go. First epic, Tori? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we didn't pull one in the previous case. Here we go. Okay, so what do we got? Let me take a second here. I want to look at our site for a minute. What do we got coming out this week? This week, this week, this week, this week. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Uh, this week we got Cornerstones Basketball coming out on Wednesday and Certified Football. Guys, Certified Football had a boatload of interest early on. So we had guys going crazy picking this stuff up. If you have any interest in certified football coming out Wednesday, um, here's the direct link to the first two cases of it that we're trying to fill. Break number one is at 18. Break number two is at 21. Yeah, I like, uh, I mean, I was a huge movie buff for a long time. Loved movies. Now it's sad to say, like, there's just like the crop of movies that's been coming out in recent years. It's like all Marvel stuff. And I feel like they've just done that superhero movie genre to death. I just can't get into it anymore. It's just overdone. I don't even I don't even see them anymore. I don't go to the theaters to see them. I don't even watch them like once they've been released on DVD and stuff. I can't even get into them. <clears throat> I will though probably see Glass. Cornerstones is like Vertex. Yeah. Yeah, Cornerstone should be really interesting, and of course, the uh, Certified Football had just a bunch of early interest, so we'll be looking to crack that open on Wednesday, guys. Wednesday, two new releases coming out. All right, here we go. I was holding out big hopes for that Ready Player One, man, after the book, and that let me down, too. How about a Jordan Howard to 10? Three of 10. Like the Marvel stuff still? Jordan Howard, Chicago, going off to Fred B. Yeah, that glass. You know, I never saw Split. I still have not seen Split. I really got to watch Split one of these days. The James McAvoy. But Unbreakable was an awesome kind of a, a cult hit. It's funny how they're coming out with a, uh, a follow-up on that stuff all these years later. Jamon Moore coming up again. Jamon Moore, how about that? Turn of the century with some color to 99. 52 of 99, and he's showing up a lot in this one. Turn of the century auto for Green Bay. Green Bay. Yeah, part two of Unbreakable. Split is excellent. My nephew is a huge movie buff. In fact, here's a good one for you. So my nephew, so if you're a big movie guy, you probably remember number eight to 299 uh, primary color. So my nephew is now 22, and... Um, he goes to uh, college at Syracuse University, and he um, huge movie buff. Wants to be in the movie industry, but a lot of his, uh, a lot of the extended family is really trying to talk him out of it, thinking it's a pipe dream and blah blah blah. I'm trying to push him into it. I'm like, dude, you've been wanting to get into this stuff forever. So he somehow got himself in an internship. It just went off last week. Landry, right there, to 99. He was in. Um, remember the. Uh, the industry magazine Fangoria. Fangoria was an industry magazine that was all about like, you know, horror movie genre. It was a huge industry mag, like an inside industry magazine that was, you know, also for the fans, but a lot for the inside. And he, um, he got an internship with them. They're trying to resurrect the brand. 
50 of 93 on this one, Hines for the Colts. And he had an internship based out of Dallas, Texas, and he did it last week. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City. Check that out, fellas. That's number to 15. 3 of 15, Kansas City. So Kansas City getting a nice one. So yeah, my nephew did an internship with uh, Fangoria Magazine last week out of Dallas, Texas, as they try to do like a full brand resurrection. <clears throat> yeah, the village, you know, the funny thing about the village, I saw that in the theaters. I remember seeing it with my girlfriend at the time in the theaters. And about halfway through the movie, I called the plot twist. I'm like, I'm pretty sure, blah, 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 this is going to be what's happening here. Sure enough, the movie comes to an end and they reveal the big twist. And it was exactly what I thought. I'm like, son of a bitch. I called it. Here it is, guys. Pen pals, Josh Rosen. Joshua C., owner on the Cardinals. There it is, buddy. Josh Rosen, Black Ink, Pen Pals Auto. Booyah. Booyah, Pen Pals Auto, Josh Rosen. Going off to one of our new breakers, Joshua C., congrats, sir. Congrats, congrats. <clears throat> oh, yeah, absolutely. I, well, I said to him, I'm like, dude, you don't have to be like the next Steven Spielberg. Like, have realistic dreams. If you want to get in that industry, have realistic dreams. Maybe you can, you know, work in the industry, but... So we shall see. We shall see if he actually follows through. Fangoria. Yep, Fangoria Magazine. Numbering to 299 right there. Good one. I know that... Um, Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram, well check that out guys, the Giants are just scoring, the Giants are just scoring, check this out, elite coverage, dual, 49 of 49, is this the second one we pulled, I think it is, right, Evan Ingram, 49 of 49, three color and two color, three color and two color on that one, so he pulled that back to back, that like flip over, for the Giants, and I'm pretty sure we pulled one of those Ingrams prior to that. Uh, Justin Reed. Justin Reed. That's the 99. All right, guys, one minute while I offload these cards to my side table. I think it is the same one, Torian. I'm almost positive it is. I'm almost positive. All right, one sec here, guys. We got four boxes still left to crack open. Four to go. I'll definitely do a hit recap on this once we finish it. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> There's an empty box. All right, here we go. Are those guys still making movies? John Singletary and <clears throat> those guys that were making all those all those movies in the early 90s? Boys in the Hood and Who are the directors? Was it the Hughes brothers? I think there was like two brothers that were the directors on Menace to Society, if I'm not mistaken. to look those guys up on IMDb, see if they're still putting movies out. If so, they definitely fell off the radar. It's funny though, stuff just cycles, you know, like everything is all, you're talking about like the Marvel movies, like that's where all the money is now. That's where all the money is now, that's where all the focus is on that stuff. The Hudson Brothers? Yes. I thought it was a two brother team. So 
So here's a good one. So like, you know, the age that I am, when I was like my late teens, like 20-ish, 21-ish, video stores were still a big deal. And uh, I worked part-time in a video store and it's like totally reminiscent of Clerks, you know, Kevin Smith Clerks. I worked in a uh, good old brick and mortar video store. This was pre-DVD. We're talking like the early 90s, 92, 93. <clears throat> so I had a love of movies already and uh, working in a video store for years, it was completely like the movie Clerks in real life. John Singletary directs uh, Empire. Oh, the ABC. Oh, okay. I actually did watch some of that the first season. I kind of got away from it now, though. Numbering to 299 there, Aaron Rodgers. I did not know he directed that. It got a little... I felt it jumped the shark a little bit. It definitely, like, ha it didn't hold up in later episodes. Uh, Trey Quinn, Washington to 199. Manning, what do we got? Anything on that one? There we go. A little sparkle action to 49. Giants continuing to do well. <clears throat> I worked at Blockbuster for all of about three weeks. I did work at the Blockbuster video, and then I worked at this privately owned one that had like a small chain of about 10 stores in the local area back in Pennsylvania. I worked there for years. And uh, <laughs> they, they had... Um, you know, they had all first run stuff, but they also had nasty stuff. They had a back room. So you'd see all kinds of crazy shit going on. Guys, like, guys and girls, whatever, going in, getting their adult movies back before the, <laughs> back before the internet was your source. Robert Woods. Robert Woods, number to 299. Oh, yeah. Back when you could rent uh, Sega and Super Nintendo. All right, guys, here we go. Next one. Next one is a Deshaun Hamilton. So the Broncos getting another one. Ryan B. Broncos getting another one. Are we going to see some colored ink? Black ink on that one. Hamilton. Pen Pals Auto. There you go, Ryan. Guys, I'll put in. We'll keep monitoring as we go. But if we don't get an extra turn of the century or an extra auto in general, I'll put in a uh, quality assurance request with Panini. We got another Epic. That's another epic relic coming up in a minute. John Singletary directs. What was uh, Hustle and Flow? Hustle and Flow is the big movie that, uh, that what's his name, that's in the Empire show, did about like seven or eight years ago, right? Maybe ten years ago at this point. Hustle and Flow. Hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Melvin Gordon Epic. L.A. Chargers going to Joshua R. What do we got, Joshua? Numbering to 99, brother. 20 of 99. Worked in a very clerks-like video store? That's awesome, Tom. I did as well. Like, this is the kind of video store where I was in college at the time. I would just bring my, my school books in, and I would just, like, lay them out on the counter and just sit there and, like, do my work while people were renting, like, movies. Like, you couldn't do that shit now. You couldn't do that anywhere now. How about a Marcus Mariota primary color is numbered to 99? Like, I got to know the customers so well. You guys know my personality. I'm a pretty pretty personable dude, I like to think. And these, like, the customers would come in and, like, bring me, uh, like, a Mountain Dew or something like that because they knew that I liked that and hang out for, like, an hour and just shoot the shit. Drew Brees, Elite Deck. You don't see that kind of stuff nowadays. What do we got here? Josh Rosen. Arizona getting another one? They sure are. Turn of the century auto of Josh Rosen. Numbering. 44 of 99. 44 of 99. 44 of 99 going off to Joshua C. Fred wasn't the Clark Redemption turn of the century. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Guys, Fred is asking, wasn't that uh, Chark Redemption? Check this out, guys. Tom Brady, 2 of 10 tidal waves. That is Josh S. on the Patriots. <clears throat> Josh S. on the Patriots. Very nice, brother, to 10. 0, 2 of 10 on that one. All right, let's keep going here, guys. Three boxes to go. It was the box before the one in question. 
top of my head, guys? I don't know, but you guys can chime in and let me know. Oh, there were some characters for sure, Tom. In that world, in that world, I remember I'd come in on like a Saturday or a Sunday, and I was in my early 20s at the time, so I'd be hung over to death. I'd come in with like three Gatorades, I'd have like four packs of cupcakes just for like sugar to get infused into my system along with like, you know, Gatorades, electrolytes, and I'd be hung over all day feeling like death. And then I'd probably go out again that night and do it. I'd probably go out again that night and, and do it all over. So the consensus is that we are still missing, uh, still missing the turn of the century auto. Then is that right, guys? Second job work till one, and in the morning seven for the government gig. That's dedication, Tom. That's dedication right there. I was talking about it the other night. I'm actually almost caught up now. I was talking about that show that I started watching, and I started binge watching it because I haven't watched it yet until just a couple, like a week or two ago. I started watching. Uh, I'm dying up here. It's that Showtime show about the 1970s like stand-up comic scene in Los Angeles. It's really good. It's executive produced by Jim Carrey, and uh, it's got some pretty decent actors. Brad Garrett's in it. Pretty good stuff. Almost caught up to, you know, that stinks though when you, when you binge watch a show, right? Finally, when you catch up to where the season's left off, now you're like, okay, I got to wait for the, the new episodes to come back out now. Mostly punk rockers, local card shop in the mall. That's awesome. That's awesome. Punk rockers and grunge heads. Tom, what year? Early 90s? Probably early 90s, right? My brother, here's a good story for you guys. You know, I love to tell stories. So here, my brother, um, he managed this uh, bar slash club in downtown Scranton called Tinks, T-I-N-K apostrophe S. It was the big deal in its day, early to mid 90s. Uh, Ravens to 99 right there. And he was in cahoots with this uh, promoter out of uh, like the New York City, like outskirts of New York City. So New York City is only like two hours away from uh, Scranton. Numbering to 24 for Tampa Bay Bucks, die cut of McCovey, or McCoy rather, <coughs> Gerald McCoy. So this guy had a bunch of these acts at the ready. Uh, a lot of guys that were like, like on the downslide, or you could still get these guys. Like I remember he had Vanilla Ice come and do the club. And you could hire guys like Vanilla Ice for like a couple thousand bucks, and they would come and do like a show at the club. But there were also these acts like that weren't really well known yet. I remember like the Wallflowers was one act that he was able to score. Here we go, guys. Next pen pals coming up. This one is the Washington Redskins. <clears throat> this is going to Kalen. Darius Geis. What do we got, brother? Black ink. Black ink on this one. Pen pals auto for the Washington Skins. There you go. So Washington Redskins getting that one. But yeah, he had guys like the Wallflowers and this and that. And he also had guys that were like not even known yet, like in sync, not even known. So the club, um, on certain nights, he turned it into uh, 18 and older. So you had to be like 21 and older to drink and 18 and older if you wanted to just see the show and they had like a wristband deal going on. But yeah, like in sync and all these acts that were like not even on the radar yet. Pretty interesting times. Numbering to 299. Got something coming up here. Tidal waves of Big Ben. <clears throat> the guys will be awesome. Yeah, the guys are. Uh, Kalen, the guys in the uh, chat are commenting on that Pen Pals Auto. Congrats, sir. 
94, <clears throat> yep. Early 90s, man, good times. What do we got here on the Jones? Jones to 299. Guys, that's our third epic. We were talking about we haven't seen any epics yet here, and how about three of them so far? Blake Bortles, epic. Blake Bortles, Jacksonville Jags. Was he the first one? Zag, that's going to you, buddy. 85 of 99. Is that a second Bortles on that epic? Could be wrong, but I think it might be. Von Miller to 299. Primary colors of Flacco. That's the 299. All right, getting down to it. Two boxes remaining still to crack open. Uh, what do we got? Sutton to 299. Hard hats of Lattimore. And what do we got here, guys? Got a Davis Webb, so New York Giants continuing to score. Again, New York Giants belong to Daniel. How about that? How about a passing the torch auto? 25 of 49, passing the torch, Davis Webb, <clears throat> for the Giants. Yeah, Wallflowers are pretty decent. That was, uh, you know, Bob Dylan's kid. Bob Dylan's kid was the singer in that band, or is. I don't know if they still exist in any capacity. Field Vision right there. Field Vision of Tom Brady. <clears throat> All right, guys, two boxes to go. Give me a minute to offload these cards off to my side table. Yeah, Jacob Dylan, right? Jacob Dylan was the lead singer's name in that band, and he was uh, Bob Dylan's son. Or still is Bob Dylan's son, because they both are still alive. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Two more boxes. Nice case. Nice case so far. I'll do a hit recap on this one after we finish off, guys. Hit recap, and then I'll probably call it quits right there. Jason will be on for tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday. All right, there is our stack of packs. I'll tell you, man, it was a different time back then. No cell phones, no instant communication. I remember when I first, it was like the, I guess probably the mid-90s when like pagers started becoming a thing. And of course, I'm a tech geek, so I had one. And I remember I worked in this Eddie Bauer store. It was an Eddie Bauer inside of a, uh, inside of a brand new mall. So this mall in downtown Scranton just opened up the Steamtown Mall. It was 1993. And I owned a pager. It was an alphanumeric pager, so it was even like high-end on the pager because I just love my gadgets, right? And this guy who was a manager at the store was convinced that I was into like no good dealings because I owned a pager. Because that was the stigma that went along with owning a pager, was that you were a drug dealer or you were up to no good because you had a pager. Fast forward not too many years later and electronic devices in every pocket down to kids as young as like five years old, right? So, whatever. Pagers, wow. Pay phones, still a thing back then? Oh yeah, pagers were like, pagers were all the rage for for a few years in a row there until I guess probably the late 90s because the late 90s, like 99, 2000, that's when small flip phones really kind of came into their own. <laughs> Tori and I was, I was. And if by drugs they meant, you know, flat front khakis at the Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. All right, here we go. Two more boxes. This is one of them. Let's see what else we got. All right, here's another relic here. Craftsman of TJ Watt. TJ Watt, Craftsman, Relic. For the Steelers, not to be confused with the Washington Redskins, the Steelers. Uh, Hayden Hurst, 
Hayden Hurst to 199. Heinz, or I was going to say Heinz Ward. No, that's TJ Watt. What the hell is going on in my brain today? What's going on? Primary colors, Antonio Brown. That's a pretty cool one. Is that numbered? It is numbered to 99. 99. Yeah, this douche that worked as a manager for that company was like very, very opinionated and let everybody know what they were like. Just you look back at these times in your life, right? And you think like, if I saw that guy in real life right now, I would punch his face right in. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But you just think, and how about these New York Giants scoring again? Kyle Laletta. New York Giants coming your way one more time. Giants doing great in this one. Daniel M. Daniel M. There you go, buddy. Black ink on that one. New York Giants. I got to look that guy up one of these days on the Facebook and see uh, <laughs> see what he's up to in life. Numbering to 75, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, spellbound. Got a blank spacer right there. 699 for the Dolphins. Watson, 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 Watson to 99. Ah, oh, people are crazy, man. People are crazy. Yeah, Giants are killing it, right? Giants doing well. Title waves. What do we got here on the Bradley Chubb? Denver Bronx, Bradley Chubb. There it is, guys. Turn of the century auto. 111 of 149. 111 of 149. I'm looking at your comment there. What do we got here? Jared Goff, Carson Wentz. So Rams and Eagles. This one's to 299. So face to face, this will turn into a Rams card based off of the face value there. <clears throat> so the face of it has the Rams to the left. All right. Keeping chugging along here, guys. Online business. As I was talking about before, blessing and a curse. Captain Clutch. I've been doing online business, though. I know you guys probably, a lot of you guys do know this, but I've been uh, various online businesses since 1997, which is slightly ridiculous when I think about it. 13 of 99. I was, I was earning a living doing online business in 97. People were still, like, dialing into their 40 free hours on AOL. Yep. I just fell into weird situations after another. It's like, yeah, I'll give that a shot. I was already developing like just HTML, basic HTML stuff in like 95, 96. Marcus Mariota to 299. Blank space right there. What do we got? Numbering to 24 for the Vikings. Kirk Cousins, die cut. Die cut, Kirk Cousins. Who's got the Minnesota Vikings in this one? Vikings, that is Joshua R. We had a lot of Joshes in this one. A lot of Joshes involved in this break. That one's going off to you, sir. 90s were a good time. Slick Willie Clinton at the helm. The economy was... Everybody seemed to have money still, right? I don't know. The 90s felt like they were just a better boom time than what we got going on these days. All right, there's an empty box. Let's spin them around. And this is it, guys. Last box. Last box. Oh, they were. They were a good time, Torian. 90s and early 2000s. Some good years. Still hoping for a Mark Walton, Greg Z. Let's see if we can do it, bud. Let's see. So guys, the consensus is we're still missing that one turn of the century auto from one of the boxes, right? Because as soon as I finish up here tonight, I will open up a QA request with Panini. They're pretty quick. They're actually pretty quick with those QA requests. I'll save what they require you to do is send some of the packs and one of the uh, one of the boxes. So I'll have to save some of the retail packaging here. It's not retail, it's hobby packaging, but so 
send off to those guys. They make you send in the UPC from the from the case too. I highly doubt, I'm almost positive, I can say almost with certainty that they do not watch the video. Like you put in for a uh, you put in for a QA request for a replacement and they just send you a replacement. Yep, Zag, I'll do those. I'll do a hit recap as well. All right, guys, last couple packs here. We'll do a hit recap, and we're going to call it quits after that. Nice night, guys. Nice night hanging out. Some good chatter going on. Enjoyed it. Guys are like, this dude doesn't shut up. He just talks about the past all the time. Yeah, you know, got to take up the time somehow when you're doing these for an hour plus, right? All right, here we go. Here we go. He's, he's sticking to the guy in front of him. Numbering to 99 on the Thomas. Then we're upside down. And we're upside down again. <clears throat> uh, elite deck of Big Ben. Wow, they're doing the upside down, right side up game. And here it is, guys. DJ Shark. This is going to be our next pen pals. So we did a, uh, I think we did a redemption of him, right? Living large in the Slick Willie administration? I was too, Tom. I was too. Much larger than these days. Jacksonville Jags, this is you, Greg. There you go, buddy. Black Ink Auto. Pen Pals Auto for the Jacksonville Jags. So that should be the last Pen Pals. Uh, we got a Russell Wilson to 299 coming up here, and it's sticking to the card in front of it. That's a Spellbound. Spellbound to 299. These cards are really on the flip side and the right side up business going on. Yeah, they sure are. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Numbering to 99, Kansas City. The Slick Willie. Slick Willie administration. Remember that? I mean, that was like the first time that a president that I could remember, a president or a guy running for president, really using <clears throat> you know popular media to get him in there which uh arsenio hall was a big deal back then he went in the arsenio hall show and was playing a saxophone like people didn't see that shit back then spoke to a lot of the younger uh voters hamilton check it out two of five two of five deshaun hamilton for the broncos the broncos there you go ryan b Ryan B. picking one up to five. Uh, numbering to 299. All right. Now we were just talking about the other night. Now you just have a reality star, right? <laughs> now they're just reality star on their way right into the presidency. Uh, primary colors. This one's the 299 on Trubisky. Uh, Tidal Waves of Nick Foles. Is this it, guys? This should be a turn of the century. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. Here you go, Ryan B. What do we got, brother? Nice. One of 49, man. One of 49 on this one. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. Turn of the century auto for the Falcons. Going off to Ryan. Congrats, bud. We do have another relic coming up here, guys. I just saw it as I was cutting the stack open here. Numbering to 99 on this one, Spellbound of Russell Wilson. Oh, man, I am just thinking of all the card sorting that's ahead of me over the next few days. It's going to be a lot. Drew Brees, Captain Clutch. Uh, what do we got? Sam Bradford. Here comes our relic card, guys. It is Mike Evans. Mike Evans, Craftsman Relic. Tampa Bay going to Zag. Going to Zag. And Zag, that's the best of the bunch yet, buddy. Two of 49 numbered. Two of 49 numbered. And very nice. Very nice. Mike Evans to 49, man. <clears throat> to 
49. Spellbound sets. Let's see if we got anything else hiding in here, guys. Scarborough to 99. And that's all she wrote, guys. Again, that was, uh, what the heck was that? Elite Football break number two. We have break number three filling up as well, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, jump into it. Our website address is right at the bottom of the video. Would love to have you in the breaks, guys. Thanks a bunch.